A police officer who fatally shot a man during a foot chase on the northwest side last year is going to keep his job. The Chicago Police Board made that announcement tonight. WGN Shannon Halligan speaking with the family of the man killed about that decision. Shannon. Yeah, the Chicago or the Civilian Office of Police Accountability or COPA recommended that Officer Evan Solano be terminated. That's the agency that investigates use of force incidents by Chicago police officers. But tonight, the police board went against that recommendation. Though Mr. Alvarez's death is undeniably tragic, Officer Solano and Officer Encarnacion's decisions and actions on March 31st, 2001, were objectively reasonable based on the totality of the circumstances as the officers reasonably perceived them. That was from the police board meeting where members discussed the shooting that happened on March 31st of last year. Officer Solano shot and killed Anthony Alvarez during a foot chase in the Portage Park neighborhood. Family members and supporters of the 22-year-old killed by the officer protested after the shooting. They called for Officer Solano to be fired then. COPA wrapped up the investigation into the officer-involved shooting months ago, but Superintendent David Brown disagreed with COPA's recommendation. That dispute triggered a police board process. During tonight's police board meeting, the board sided with Brown, saying CPD did not have a formal foot pursuit policy in effect. That ended the disciplinary process. Officer Solano and his partner will both receive a 20-day suspension. It's something, though, that the Alvarez family and attorney say is a punch to the gut. For all the community, the Spanish community, because we don't see we uh, treat right. It's not the same for everybody. How are we gonna ask for help to the police when, when this happened? Even when uh, uh, Kim Fox and uh, and Copa recommend to fire Evan Solano, they do something different. What's that mean? He was shooting in a neighborhood block um, that could have struck anybody, someone's kid in the living room. Um, it was just reckless conduct, and then a few weeks later, same thing in Logan Square. And the fact that he's remaining on the police force and is going to be armed with a firearm is devastating, and it's very concerning for this community. Alvarez was shot and killed two days after 13-year-old Adam Toledo was killed following a foot pursuit in Little Village. Soon after, there were calls for CPD to enact a foot pursuit policy. CPD officers are now no longer allowed to chase suspects in minor offenses. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox announced last year that both officers would not face criminal charges. The Alvarez family said that they will continue to fight for justice. They plan to protest tomorrow at Thompson Center. Center. Live on the city's north, northwest side, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon.